Comet Storm. Eight damage to each of your creatures and Anna and James, your faces. And then I'm dealing eight damage to those 15 targets. And it, my spell is lifelink. Oh. Hello there. My name is Carlos and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In today's episode of Kingdoms and Friends, we have Anna Jane MTG and the one Jane playing some casual EDH with us. Before we jump into the game today, I want to remind you to smash the like button, also subscribe to our channel, and consider becoming a patron. Our patrons get access to our Discord, we have monthly game nights, deck techs, and a bunch more. I'd love for you to check it out over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. You can also join here on YouTube as well, whichever is more convenient for you. And if you're looking to buy some singles online, you should first check out our LGS Game Grid. They have a great assortment of singles and accessories for all your EDH needs. And if you use the code KINGDOMS1 at checkout, you get 10% off of your order. Our first guest, Anna, goes by Anna Jane MTG Online. They are a new MTG altruist and an EDH Twitch streamer putting on a chill EDH show with their friends. Find Anna at Anna Jane MTG on Twitter and on Twitch. Our second guest is James or the One Jane. James is a Twitch partner with a focus on MTG Arena. His streams are interesting and his decks focus on interactive gameplay. He also loves EDH and features on other channels when he can. Check him out on Twitch and across the socials at the One Jane. With that, let's check out our commanders and our starting hands for our game today. First off, we have James playing Kenrith the Returned King with a starting hand of Canopy Vista, Overgrown Farmland, Temple Garden, Path to Exile, Simic Signet, Zerta the Dawn Waker, and Emil the Blessed. Second, we have Jeff playing Lightpaw's Emperor's Voice with a starting hand of a Plains, Rogue's Passage, Deafening Silence, Path to Exile, Benevolent Blessing, Archaeomancer's Map, and Mantle of the Ancients. Third, we have Anna playing Laureen the Diversion and Camber the Plunderer with a starting hand of a Swamp, Black Cleave Cliffs, Genesis Chamber, Thought Vessel, Weak Stone, Marionette Master, and Blasphemous Act. Fourth, I am playing Hinata Dawn Crown with a starting hand of a Plains, a Mountain, Flooded Strand, Sacred Foundry, Is It Signet, Verity Circle, and Semester's End. All right, let's play some magic. Draw for turn. I'll play Canopy Vista tapped and pass. Draw. Play a Plains and a Deafening Silence. No. Nice. Each player can only play one Noct creature spell per turn. Yep. Correct. So play as many creatures as you want. It. All right, Anna, go for it. All right, I'll draw. Likely a Cliff's tapped. Go ahead. All right, draw for turn. I'll play Blooded Strand and I'll go get a. Yeah, I'll get a blue, red, and I'll be done. It'll come in tapped. All right, I'll go. After turn, I'll go ahead and play Shiv and Reef. Tap those for colorless for Simic Signet. And I'll pass turn. Draw. I'm going to play a Rogue's Passage. I know, I know. I'm just going to have to run Light Paws I'm back out there and uh, see what we can do this game. All right, Anna, go for it. Wonder what All comes right. down on Light Paws this game. Well, if there's a Kenrith transformation, it's got to be. It's got to be James. It's got to be from <laughs> Kenrith, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'll draw. No, 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 that's uh, sacrilegious. I can't play Kenrith Transformation in the Kenrith deck, and rightfully so, I don't play it. <laughs> Swamp. Thought Vessel. Go ahead. Drew a card. I'll play a Plains as land for turn, and an Is It Signet, and I'll pass the turn. <laughs> I'll untap. Huh. I'll play Overgrown Farmland, tap Chivalry for Signet Signet, tap these two for white, and cast Emiel the Blessed. And I'll pass my turn. All right. I'm going to untap. Oh, I'm draw. I'm gonna pay two and play Spirit Mantle. Ugh. Onto Light Pops. Oh, creature. Right. And I will go get another in Aura and put it on Light Pops. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the. I'm gonna get a Daybreak Coronet. Oh my gosh. What does that one do? Plus three, plus three, and it gets First Strike, Vigilance, and Lifelink. No. Spirit Mantle gets plus one, plus one, and uh, Daybreak Coronet gets plus three, plus three. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. I can attack still, yeah, for six and gain six. And so I'm going to attack uh, James. I'll take six whole, six whole points of damage. And then after that, I'm good. I'm going to. All right, on top. 
draw. I'm gonna play a Genesis Chamber and pass. What does that do? Oh. Whenever a non-token creature comes into play, if Genesis Chamber is tapped, that creature's controller puts a 1-1 mirror artifact by. Draw a card. Mountain is land for turn. I'm gonna play Verity Circle. Whenever a creature mm -hmm. an opponent controls becomes tapped, it's not being declared as an attacker, I can draw a card. It also um, makes it so I can tap a creature without flying by paying five mana. Pass the turn after that. Flying, you say? <laughs> yeah, that's not typically why it's in here, but... I'm gonna start out by using Path to Exile on Light Paws. Oh, what a good yes, person. land, land. Oh, listen, land. listen, I'm just, I'm, just doing, I'm just doing you a favor. You said you Here's missed a land drop, and I'm here mm -hmm. to give you that. Go get my land. I'm happy about that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and play a Command Beacon as my land for turn. Attack Chivalry for red, and I'll take life. White colorless for Zerda Don Waker. Oh, cheap blinking. So it'll make my Emiel the Blessed cost a single mana and let my Kenris abilities cost two less. Let's see. Emiel 4-4 four four is going straight to Jeff. That's fair. I'll oh, you four. you uh, get a 1-1. One, one. You get a 1-1 one, one mirror. Who does? Me? James. Yep. Yeah, you do. I will make myself a mirror. Uh, and then I am done. Yes. I'm going to untap, draw, play ah. planes. I'm going to play an yeah, Archaeomancer's map. map. I'm going to get two planes and put it to my hand, and then I'm going to say go. I'm just going to play Laurie and get a 1-1. One, one. I don't have mirrors, so I have a servo token. Go ahead. I'll untap, draw. I'm going to play a Prairie Stream. I have two basics. Play my commander. And get a 1-1 one, one mirror. I'll be done. I'll draw my card for turn. I will play a Forest for turn. Then I will tap Command Beacon for Simic Signet for two mana. Three, four, five, leaving up Shivan Reef. When you played your fifth land, I'm going to play my uh, planes out. What do you have, okay, map. No, the map allows oh. them to do effectively the same. Yeah. But Someone only if someone lands. has more lands. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's white. It's, yeah, yeah. It's worse. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave up an overgrown farm, and I will play Kenner. Ooh. Ooh. So I get another mirror. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and um, go to combat, and I'm going to get at Jeff again for seven with my Zerda and my MEL. I passed my turn. All right. At the end of your turn, I'm going to path to exile Kinrith. <laughs> I'll pay one mana from MEL to blink it. Yeah, that works. And then I will get yeah. another mirror. Miraculous. Yep. I don't feel bad about it. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if it hit an auto, it would have been better probably, but it's, it is what it is. <laughs> I'm going to play another land for turn. All right. I'm going to pay four. And so oh, never play mind. A slight pause. And then that gets me my own little mirror token. Mm-hmm. After that, I am done for my turn. So, go, Anna. Right. Untap. Draw. I'm going to send uh, Lorraine at you, Jeff. 3-3 three, three, first strike. I will take it. Close combat. I'm going to cast a Blasphemous Act. 13 damage to every creature. My turn, you said? Yeah, go ahead. Draw for turn. Sure. I can still only play one non-creature spell. So, I think I get a Talisman of Creativity out. Uh, let's tap like this, and then let's tap these two for a uh, Soul Fire Grand Master. Uh, it's a 2 2 lifelink for two. Instant and sorcery spells I control have lifelink. And I can pay two mm -hmm. colorless and a hybrid red or blue, hybrid red or blue, so four mana. And the next time I cast an instant or sorcery spell from my hand, I put it back into my hand instead of the graveyard. So it like, lets you do it again if you have four extra mana. I'll be done. Oh, wait, did I play my All land? Right, no, I didn't. Playing Sacred Foundry tapped. All right, I'll untap, draw. I'll tap my Command Beacon for Simic Signet. Four, Shock Temple Garden, five, for Marari's Wake. Oh, you get a mirror for Soul, Mar Soul Fire Man. Ah, yes. And then I'll pass my turn. I will draw. I'm going to pay six and replay my commander and, and then i'm gonna pay one and play shield of duty and reason gives it protection from green and blue and i will go get another an aura which will be yeah you get your mirror wait if there's two mirror decks battling each other is that a mirror match oh my god ba boom oh okay now i see how it is you got mask of long great from black and red can i put my commander in the commands of my graveyard sure. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. So I get that, and I'll get my mirror, and then I will pass and say go, and Draw. Oh, we got to land. All right, I'm going to play Camber, my other commander, and I'm going to get a mirror. I'm done. Go ahead. 
Okay, untap, draw a card, play a sundown pass as my land for turn. All I can do this turn is a soul ring. Should I attack with a life linker? I, my white creatures, well, and the artifact creatures can block the pause, right? Yes. Yeah, I'll send two. Right, everyone, everyone pause and reflect. Pause and reflect. Oh, God. Uh, I'll send two at James for that horrible joke. Huh. It was, great joke. It was a great I'll joke. I'll take two. Great and horrible. I will pass the turn. I draw for turn. I'll play Carpoozin Forest as my land. I'm going to tap my command beacon for Simic Signet. That will make an additional colorless mana because I... Yeah, I tap it for colorless mana. It makes an additional colorless mana from Mirror's Wake. I use the green and the blue to cast Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy, if that's okay with anyone. That's not okay. Yeah, it's not okay, <laughs> but I can't do anything about it. I mean, it's happening. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you, it's happening. You get a mirror, you get a mirror. I'll put the Carlos man in the good use, I guess. And I tap seven with one blue mana left over. I'm going to take a life. Owl from Shivan mm -hmm. Reef to get to do it as a blue mana. My blue mana left over is represented by this Squirtle. Okay. So look at use Ken's ability. Mm -hmm. To look at the top five cards in my library. You can put any uh, a non human from among them onto the battlefield and put the rest in the bottom. Five, I'll put our kind of cruelty on the battlefield. So you get a mirror. Our kind of cruelty is definitely worse if there's the mirror generating thing on the board. Uh huh. I'll, I'll target Jeff and have him sacrifice the mirror. Uh, so you sacrifice a creature or a planeswalker, and then discard a card and lose three life, and then I draw a card and gain three life. So I'll go up to 31 again, right. and I'll draw a card. I gain a life and get a blood token from Camber. Kinnon into an Archon. What a deck. What a deck. Nice. Now I'm going to use this blue mana because it's left over anyway. Uh, and then this overgrown farmland for two mana to cast Ghostly Flicker on my Archon and my Simic Signet. Ah! And that's going to target Jeff again to have Sacrifice the Light Pause. <laughs> I, I get another blood token. And I get a mirror. And another life. Mirror. And then I go up to 34. The fact that you guys are sharing this is not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sharing it, Jeff. Draw card. Listen, I'm do. just, I'm glad I'm doing something now. All right, I'm done. Your what? turn, Jeff. Yeah, uh, I have nothing, so go. I didn't, yeah, that's, all right, I'm going to cast Faith of Sleeting. So I'll draw one. Well, I'm, draw I'm drawing two. lands and rocks over here, Jeff, so I feel you. Board. Um, can I discard Weak Stone and uh, Ruthless Technomancer? I'm going to cast, it sucks. Um, yeah. I'm going to discard Urza's Bobble to the blood token to draw a card. Cool. I got my land. All right. Command tower. All right. And then I'm going to cast a Reckless Fire Weaver. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under my control, it does one damage each opponent. And then that's oh. going to get me a mirror token that's going to let me ping everybody for one. Or right, I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to attack Jeff. Sorry. Yep, I was thinking about it. I'll take, I'll gain three. All right. I'm done. Okay. End of turn, I will tap Kinnon. Shouldn't you have one land tap because you cast a soul ring? Yeah, 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 that's right. Okay, so yeah, just tap one, draw one card, untap, draw for turn, play spectator seating. That's my land for turn. You have a mirror, Carlos. You shouldn't be okay. You shouldn't be afraid. I get another mirror, mirror. yeah. Mirror. So, yeah, uh huh. Yeah. Two mirror now, thankfully. Yeah. It's um, miraculous. <laughs> I should stop saying that. Oh, that was pretty good, no. actually. All right, I'm sorry, Jeff. Two damage. I'll I'm pass sure after that. Yeah. All right, what you got? I'll momentary blink my Archon. I have a response. I'm going to pay one, and since I have my commander, I can just pay one. Uh, for this, I'm a Deadly Relic, the... Archon? So yeah. it destroys it? Exile. You won't get that, that back from Kenrith. Uh-huh. That hurts. I'll go. Good job. That was good. Command beacon <laughs> for two colorless. Use the colorless for Simic Signet. That'll be three mana because of Kenan. Mm -hmm. I have three mana off Simic Signet and one mana off of Command Beacon. So that's three, four, six, seven, eight for Kenrith. So I have one green floating. Uh, you get a mirror. Now I'm going to use that colorless mana and this Temple Garden for green to cast Fierce Empath. It's going to um, search for a creature with mana value six or greater and put it in my hand. <laughs> you get another mirror from this too, by the way. You mirror. Get mirror! And then another mirror yep. probably Heck. after that. Yeah. I'll go for Sun Titan. Um, and I'll go ahead and attack all four mirrors. Jeff. <laughs> and they are tutus. Oh, Why God. are they tutus? Oh. Mirrors wake. Mirrors wake. wake. Why Jeff? Well, you would lose now, now, now we're just bullying. Now we're just yeah, bullying Jeff. You, if you attack me, there's it's one fine. Here. It's fine. It's fine. Listen, the king giveth and the king taketh away. Your turn, Jeff. Right. <laughs> king be giveth some hurts. <laughs> you know what? I got a creature. It's gonna, it's gonna revolutionize my game. Okay. What you got next? A mirror. I got a mirror. 
<laughs> what else? Uh, nothing. That's it for my turn. I'm passing there. Oh, gross. <laughs> oh, that? Drop. I'm going to start by cracking a blood token. Discarding, cleansing, wildfire, draw. All right. I'm going to play Talisman of Indulgence. Nice. And that's going to ping Yaw with the Reckless Fire Weaver. Jeff, I'm going to attack you with a 3 4. I'm not the only one. You're the only one who doesn't have a creature that can kill it. I take the three. That's all I got then. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> all right, go ahead. End of turn, I'm going to tap Kenrith. Yeah, I will draw a card from Ver- Verity Circle. I'll draw for my turn. Play an island slam for turn. All right, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to swing four flying trample commander damage at James. I'll take it. I believe that is all. I'll pass my turn. I will proceed to go white, 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 white. So four white. And I'll use three of those whites to gain five life. All right. Um, I'm going to go for it. Uh, end of turn after those resolve. I guess in, in response to them. Have you gained a life yet? Uh, I gained matter. a life already, but I can plus it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Comet Storm. Comet Storm, so how it'll work is you ha- I have to choose all of the targets up front, mm-hmm. and then they'll be reduced. So um, I'm paying two red plus X, and then all the targets are free because of Hinata. So yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage to all of each of your creatures and to Anna and James, your faces. And then I'm dealing eight damage to those 15 targets. And it, my spell is lifelink. Oh. Well, That's um, gross. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> that gonna, I well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and play the floating white mana I have in these two mana from Shivan Reef and pay life for Dovin's Veto. Nice. All right. So we don't have to do anything. Yep. It's uh, countered. It's your turn. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great. I'm going to go ahead and untap my mirrors. I have six of them. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and draw for turn. Keep up a blue up for Simic Signet to cast Commander Sphere as my only non-creature spell this turn. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and 6-7. I'll keep a white mana floating, I guess. I'll cast Sun Titan. You get a mirror. If it resolves, I guess. Yeah, I'll spell crumple that. Well, unless I get a mirror on cast. And uh, put it on the bottom of your library instead of your graveyard. Never mind, you don't get a mirror. Spell crumple go to the bottom of your library, too. I have one color floating still, so I'll tap Commander Sphere for double black. And I'll go black, colorless, colorless, colors for four overgrown farmland for double white i have um a black floating and a white floating i'm gonna bring out uh amul the blessed if that's okay yeah that's fine i'm gonna get i'm gonna get mirror. a mirror mirror mm-hmm. and no, i have two mana floating a black and a white and then the shivan reef and then i will tap the shivan reef or colorless to use emil the blessed to flicker fierce empath and i'm gonna get another mirror all right i'm gonna go ahead and, and use fierce empath Go get, um, could get the Sun Titan again. <laughs> <laughs> True. I'm just going to attack all of my mirrors at Ana. I have six mirrors, six two two mirrors. I'll double block one with a Fire Weaver and a, a mirror. I'll take and what are the stats on Fire Weaver? Fire Weaver is a one three. Okay, so one of my mirrors is going to die. Yep. Um, one of mine dies too. I get a blood token. I gain a life for creature dying. Yeah, that's going to ping everybody for one with Fire Weaver. I take a damage. All right. And then we'll go to Jeff. All right. At the end of your turn, pay three since that's how much it costs. I'm going to play Benevolent Blessing and I'm going to choose black. And so the key, this creature will gain protection from black. And I will draw a card. I will untap. I will draw. I will play a land. And we're going to pay six to play Mantle of the Ancients. Ooh. So it's a 15, 15 right now. How no, is no, it no. 15? Because the mantle gives a Total? plus for each aura that's equ- and equipment. Oh, crap. Yeah, it's a good one. I missed that one. Okay, okay. And then it's I got will... Lifelink, Trample, Vigilance, Protection from All oh, Colors, see. and Protection from Creatures. So I'll swing at James for 15. Yes. Get him. Got to get my life back. <laughs> mm-hmm. Blue Vial is at 30... Wait, 30... 32? Yeah, yeah you're at the right. Yeah. 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 And then I will play another creature, Transcendent Envoy. 
It's a mirror. one two flying, which makes my aura spells cost yeah. less, but it's cool. a thing. Yeah, and I got a mirror. Get another mirror. Look at me. Yeah, I am done everything. for my turn now. Yeah, go. All right, end of your turn. I'm going to crack a blood token, discarding a grave scrabbler into exile. So I draw, then I can cast this. Yeah, before I draw, I can cast this for its madness cost, which is two. Uh, when it comes into play, if its madness cost was paid, I can return target creature heart in a graveyard to its hand. So I'm going to target my ruthless Techromancer and return it. And then I get to draw a card after my, for my blood token resolving. And then I get a mirror from that, and that's going to ping everybody for one. That's all into turn? Yep. Nice. And tap. All right, I'm going to play a land. It's a Darksteel Citadel. It's going to ping everybody for one. I'm going to cast Ruthless Techromancer. When that enters the battlefield, I can sack another creature I control. If of treasures equal to that creature's power. Let me guess, ping. Sack the Grave Scrabbler, which is a 2-2. Two, two. We're going to get pinged three so, times, right? From the mirror and the treasures. We're going to get pinged three times, once for the mirror and two from the treasures coming into play. Two treasures. My heart is rapidly beating. Cast Doxoy, kills James. Use one of my treasures to cast a Sangromancer. 3-3 three, nice. three flying. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, I can gain three life. When it discards a card, I can gain three life. That doesn't say burn. But I do get a mirror, which does say burn. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to combat. Go ahead. Draw a card. Uh, we'll this, won't, this won't kill everybody, but it will make my situation better. It's what they all say before they kill someone. We're going for it. That's all the mana. Four blue. Oh my god. Oh no! Wrong? Yes, it is what I thought it was! <laughs> oh no! Uh, so, mass manipulation. I'm going to do it for seven. And they will be Kinnon. Kenrith, Emil, Shram, and then Sangromancer. Can't target Shram. As for all colors? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that changes things. That sucks. Okay, those three, the Commander, the Techromancer, and I can... So those are the six, and I think I take Jeff's Flyer. Yeah, they're yours. I will then give all of them haste with Kenrith. <laughs> That's insane. I was wondering why you didn't That's do insane. why you didn't do all the manas. Emil and Kenrith at Anna, the Technomancer and Camber at James, and these three flyers at Jeff. I'll double block the Camber with my two mirrors, and I'll take two. Yeah, I, I did. I did forgot that you had plus two, plus two. So get three life. Yeah. You get another life because Amir died, right? So uh, you get yes. four life and you get a blood token. Ooh, big bunny. And Jeff took his damage and you took that damage. Okay. Yeah. And we're going in the command zone. That is my turn. I was right. No that one was died. The turn. You know? yeah. That was a good turn. At least it's. That what... was uh, insane. But we're still alive. We're still alive. Yeah. I'll drop a turn. I guess there's a new big bad at the table. Yeah. <laughs> Five, six, loading a blue. With Squirtle, the momentary blink, your sun path. Nice. Your sun path is going to search. Okay, in that case, I'll get Asian and Treachery. Can One, I... uh, two, float another blue. Two, three, take a life. Okay. Cast Asian and Treachery. Mm -hmm. And I will go ahead and get. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a meal. I have a, I have a blue left, so I'm gonna go blue off of this floating, and then um, double white, which is gonna float a white. You can see this Pikachu here. Wait, I don't have to use the blue for Emil, so I'll just leave the blue. Just takes three mana, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'll just do Overgrown Farmland and Canopy Vista and float the white. So I have a blue and a white floating. I'll get... So you're blinking Agent of Treachery again? Uh, yes, I'll target Agent of Treachery. I'll get the Kinnon, and then I'll use this white off the Pikachu to tap for Simic Signet, blue, blue, green, since it's one extra mana from Kinnon. Your creatures, the the Emil and the Kinnon are tapped. Oh yeah. no, Kinnon's on tap, but Emil is tapped. Kinnon didn't attack, so Kinnon's on tap. Three floating blue and a floating green, which will be represented by this Bulbasaur. I will use one blue and Temple Garden, the blink agent and treachery taking Kinnon. Uh, Ken Kenrith and Kenneth's tapped. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, so short. And, and I get like I get a bunch more mirrors. Actually, I'm not going to use this Temple Garden. I'm going to use a blue and a green. So I have one blue floating. I'm going to crack uh, Swinter Sphere to draw a card. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna blink Agent of Treachery with the last remaining mana, and I'm gonna um, target the thing that gives Ram protection. Um, well, I, I mean, I, I guess if you keep the if you keep the aura for my Agent of Treachery, anyways, even if I take it, then uh, I got no more mana, so um, I pass. I untap draw. I'm the void. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, for now, I'm just gonna attack James with Sram and kill him. <laughs> I guess I could have killed Jeff three times. <laughs> well, we're, we're, we're friends till the end, and um, this is this yeah. is how you this is how you do me wrong after I after I save you three times. Uh, um, <laughs> you kill me in return. I, I, I see how it is. No no hard feelings. I, I'll t I'll take it like a champion. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm just going to replay Light Paws, so actually, at this begins. point. Get a mirror. That's it for me this turn. Uh, draw. <gasps> All right, well, I'm going to play a Takanuma, Banded Miner. All right, so I'm going to cast Tribute to Hirobe. It's a saga. Chapters 1 and 2 give each opponent a 1-1 one -one black rat rogue creature. Got to bring back Lori. So I'm going to get a okay. mirror and ping both of you. Okay. And... I'm done. What does the Technomancer do again as an ability? Yeah, you can pay two a black and sack X artifacts to card with power X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Draw for turn. All right, I'll play a Archmage Emeritus. Get another mirror. I'll pay four for Stormkiln Artist. Ooh. You got, uh, that's you why get two mirrors. I get my own treasures now with this uh, Technomancer. Uh -huh. uh, Okay, so attack you for seven. How flying. many cards you got in your hand? One card. Huh? That is all. It's your turn, Jeff. Gonna untap. Gonna draw. All right, Carlos, you ready for this? I'm ready. Let's see what you got in your hand. I'm gonna pay four and play out one of your new favorite cards, Chroma's Will. So my creatures will gain, because I have my commander out, flying, vigilance, double strike, lifelink, indestructible, and protection from all colors until the turn. I guess I respond with, yeah, I'll cast Semester's End for one white. I'm going to exile my... Yeah, I messed up again for not forgetting that my Semester's End only costs one, because I saved four mana open for it, but then yeah. I could have been doing... For five mana, I could have uh -huh. been blinking everything every turn. So, oh well. Uh, draw a card. It is an island. How much total damage? So it's 30 from Strom, and then it is another 12 from the remainder of my creatures. Cool. Are you sending them all my, my, all my way? Yeah. Alrighty, I'm out. <laughs> so that is 42. You get your Technomancer, Sangromancer back, and you get your Envoy back, uh, Jeff. That right. is my turn, though. Yeah, go. That's it. Um, Pro colors cause all the R's to fall off? You may choose both, so you probably just wouldn't. If that's the case, then... Yeah, because the top one's the one I need anyways, though. So you don't uh, gain the life, then, if you want to keep your R's. No. I don't gain the additional 12 life, is the difference. Yeah, I you still gain the still life gain the from SRAM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm at 45. All right, this isn't that bad. All right, so untap, upkeep, uh, draw... Saga goes up to two, so you get another rat. Yay! All right, I'm gonna pay a Forbidden Orchard. I'm gonna bring Camber back out. So you get a mirror that pings you for one. I guess I'll attack you for three in the air. Three in the air? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Draw. For my turn, I'm gonna play Cartouche of Solidarity on my Envoy. And I also get a 1-1 one, one Human Warrior, I believe, from that. Yeah. You, you draw a card. And I will draw a card. I will then search for a aura. Okay, I'm gonna get Flickering Ward and put it onto Light Paws. What's the color? Uh, I'll choose black. Before attacks. Okay. I'm gonna pay two and sack a mirror to goad Light Paws. Goad You're just says, making him attack, period. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, it has to attack if able and attacks an other than you if able. Yeah. Yep. So there's two different conditions. That's right. That's fine. Bring it. Bring it, Light Paws. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So I will attack with Light Paws mm -hmm. uh, and SRAM. Okay. SRAM is 15, right? Yep. Oof. Okay. So it's 15 lifelink, and then I have a 2 2 pro black life paw, light, light Paws coming at me. Yep. Uh, I'll block Light Paws with my 3 3 first strike. Red creature. Awesome. And I'll take 15. While you block, I will use the ability of a Ganjo Seed of the Empire to deal four <gasps> damage to your commander. Yeah. So I'm at 56. Well, F me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have blocked with like a bunch of mirrors, honestly. But I didn't think about that. Yeah, but, you know, that's, yeah that's, exactly. That's my fault. Alrighty then. Go. All right, on tap. I don't know if this is going to matter or not, but I'm probably dead. So uh, I'm going to end up trying. I'm going to give you a, a spirit with uh, by tapping Forgotten Orchard. My, my numerous tokens for me. Right, well, here. I'm getting two back, so don't don't get too comfy. 
I'll draw. This flips, uh, so I gain control of all cats when it comes back into play. And then when it attacks, I can sacrifice another creature. So I get those two rats. Out. Give me them rats. Rat row. This this is always so interesting to me in Commander. When James and I both don't kill Jeff and comes back. And I get a mirror. So I you, so you get drained for one. Okay. I want to put Lorraine in the graveyard, actually. It's only because I have Ruthless. It's not like a yeah, card. Yeah. Yeah. Turn. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, damn. All right. Combat. I'm going to attack you with my Echo of Death's Whale. So I'm going to attack you for 3-3 three, three in the air. I'm going to sack a Rat Rogue and draw a card. You take three. Yep. Let's go digging. I'm going to cast You Find Some Prisoners targeting you. Uh, so we get to exile the top three cards of the library. And I choose one of them until the end of my next turn. I can play that card and spend mana or any color. So what you got in there? Sure. Uh, Soul Ring, Planes, <laughs> and Generous Woo! Gift. All right, well, a thing. I can play that until the end of my next turn. Yes. I can just chump with mirrors all day if I get rid of the protection from creatures. I'm I'm satisfied with this turn. Go. <laughs> Untapping. Um, Drawing. Pay one. First, going to play out Esper Sentinel. Okay, get a mirror. Going to pay one and return the Flickering Ward. All right, I'm going to play replay Flickering Ward. She's been black again. On the cast trigger, I will draw a card. And then I will go get an enchantment and put that on light pause and i'm gonna go get ethereal armor okay so it's huge with first strike and pro black yep okay and then i go to attacks and uh, I'm before gonna... combat before combat i'm gonna pay three sacrifice the artifacts two servos and this treasure to bring back Lorraine. look okay i'm gonna pay two so this is gonna give me a, a mirror and ping you for one and then I'm going to sack that mirror, Laurine, and go to your flyer. How much mana do you have left? I have two mana up. So not enough to play Generous Gift then. I didn't think about that. Let me sack another mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, I'll go to the flyer. This makes me so sad. It's so close. I'm going to attack with Light Paws, Srom, and the flyer. Okay. I'm also going to pay four and make Light Paws unblockable. How big is Light Paws now? So it is a 14 14. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> She says at 15 life. Yeah, I was like, whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna generous gift the spirit mantle. So Sram loses two on that, right? Yes. Still got you, first strike, right? You tapped yeah. the Forbidden Orchard for that? Yeah, and you yeah, you, you get a spirit for that. And you get a 3-3 elephant. And you get to draw a card, because I didn't pay the one for Esper Sentinel. I'm going to chump Sram with a servo, and then I'm going to block your flyer with my 3-3. So I take 13 commander damage. You gain 12. The the envoy dies. And then you'll gain life from that? Yep. So I'm at 2, but then I gain 4 life from your creature die, and I get a blood token. So I get 3 life from the Sangromancer. And one. Oh, yeah. I get a blood token, which means it's an artifact, so that's going to ping you for 1. All right, done. Here you go. Taps. Draw. So I can go and attack for six in the air and then with the echo i'm gonna sack a rat rogue and draw a card all right i'm going to pay one and sack my blood token discarding infernal genesis draw i'm gonna flashback this faith of saluting i forgot about until now nice dig did you pay one more for esper sentinel don't draw your card i don't care i'm gonna discard marinette master and uh soul ring land for turn as a sulfurous mire I'm going to pass. I think there's going maybe a, there to... might be a Hail Mary here. I'm going to play Retether. Return okay. each or a card from my graveyard to the battlefield and attach them. So what are the auras? What do you have? I just think it's the two. That's it. Just the two. So it's just Spirit Mantle and Cartouche of Solidarity. Okay. Sure. That's fine. So they will go on to Light Paws. Okay. I will play you got a War one Room. One. Oh, yeah. I got another human. Mm -hmm. And then go to Combat. I will... Go to activate Rogue's Passage and target Strom. Sure, that's fine. Okay, I will then attack with both. Yeah, I don't have anything. <laughs> I was hoping for darkness. I should put that in there. That's a good idea. Well, that game was all over the place, but was still pretty fun. It, it does remind us that sometimes things outside of the game can infect what happens in the game, and there's not a lot you can do about it. In this situation, the internet just didn't want to work with us, but... We were able to make it through. I think it was still a great game, and I had a blast having uh, James and Anna on the show. Make sure to go check them out across all the socials. Some of you already know, but we just had the first Utah Command Con 
with our LGS game grid in Lehigh, Utah. Our patrons were able to participate in the event through our Discord, winning prizes and play mats, as well as playing with our players. We are planning another one in a few months, so now is a great time to become part of the kingdom. You can find out more over at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. As always, a special thank you to our Samurai patrons, Morton Christensen, Revolution Gaming, John McManus, Jordan Ritchie, Dr. Birdseed, David Siraj, Worthy Glover, and Chris Crowley. You really are the pillars of kingdoms. As always, thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy.